Good news, everybody. I found the book that I was going to read with you guys. Um, it was in the one place that I never thought to look. The bookshelf. Here we go. This is called All My Friends Are Dead by Avery Monson and Jory John. Jory John, by the way, is a very interesting name. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Most of my friends are dead. See, I, that's three pages. That's all you get for today. Uh, we will pick up on the next page, and you guys have to remember what happened. Stay tuned. <laughs> Most ridiculous book reading ever. I love it. I figured uh, we haven't done a science experiment in so long. This isn't really a science experiment. But I thought it was something neat. All you need is a straw, some scissors, a little bit of a cup of some water here. Super tasty. Uh, take your, your strizzle and just cut it, but don't cut all the way through. Just, just nip it so that you have a little hole in it so that you can bend it in half like that, right? You might need to give it just a little bit more. And then stick it into your water like so. And then you have a little musical instrument. And maybe you'll be able to play a little song like The Legend of Zelda or something. You guys really thought I was going to play Legend of Zelda, didn't you? And I figured we might as well keep it going. I know, look, it's dark outside. It's been that long. I was been researching and researching on what we can do. And this right here is the icing container from when Jen just made brownies. And I'm... Fireworks going on outside? What in the world is going on? Anyways, we're going to take this icing container and I'm going to try to turn it into a... Like a rollback toy, like you roll it forward and then it comes right back to you. <clears throat> first things first. Take, oh, I just cleaned it out so it's still wet. I'm gonna take the bottom and put it, or the top and put it on the bottom so that I can make a hole through it with my scissors or a screwdriver with your parents' supervision. Uh, sort of in the same spot. There it is. Sort of in the same spot, top and bottom. Ream it out just a little bit. All right. Then, I, we don't have rubber bands. I have Jen's, one of Jen's hair ties. I'm gonna feed it through the bottom here. Try to at least, there we go, it's in there. Oh, my hands are too big to fit inside of here. Pull it through, and I'm going to take a toothpick and actually just break it in half, like that. Feed that through like so. Here, I'll get up close so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And then there, oh, oh, it's holding it in place. And I'm gonna tape that toothpick so that it doesn't spin with just some regular old uh, scotch tape. Scotch tape, bam. Done and done. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to probably should have done this before I stuck it in there. Tape a nine volt battery to the rubber band, right? Maybe, maybe I don't know if I could do it before. I'm gonna try to do it before I put it through there. So take, don't do as I do. All right, I'm gonna try to tape the. 9 volt or the rubber band to the top of the 9 volt battery like this and there's no reason that it has to be a 9 volt battery it's just that the 9 volt battery has some pretty good weight and a pretty good size for this container but you could use I don't know any sort of weighted object that you can think of perfection embodied and then I'm going to try to now reverse feed the rubber band through this. Now I have giant hands, so this is ridiculously hard for me. It will probably be easier for you guys, but uh, giant hands. Back to where we were before with the rubber band attached to, or through the bottom with the toothpick there, and then my nine volt battery on the inside. Tape, I already have some tape here. Tape the toothpick in place. All right, toothpick is now in place. Take the other part of the rubber band and run it through the lid of your container, much like you did 
through the bottom, but, oh darn it, but it'll be easier through the lid, like so. Hooray, I did it. Then close the lid, oh, darn it. Get the rubber band through, and then put the toothpick through on this side so that you don't lose it like I did just then. There it is. There's the entire contraption. Tape the toothpick on the top, like so, like that. And then you should have something that looks like this. Let's see what it does on the ground. Hopefully it'll actually work on the ground because I have this crazy tile here, but we're gonna give it a try. Here we go. You ready? Roll it away. And it didn't come back. Why not? Let's try it again. Oh, because it, what did it, did it hit the thing? Is my, my battery too heavy or something? Because it's just sitting on the bottom. Darn it! Oh, oh, it started to. Slight change of plan. I took the battery and I turned it so that it was hanging sideways, like so. Because it was too long, tall ways to, uh, it just scraped on the outside. And now, I just tried it, we do have success. You guys ready? Here we go. You roll it, and then it comes right back. Yeah, it's party time. Roll it forward really far, and then it comes right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, woo I would love to see some darn video responses of you guys making these things, showing me the way that you guys could improve upon them, because I know that, like, uh, you could do it with a tin can rather than a plastic one. It might work better. I don't know, mine does pretty good. It can go pretty far and then come back pretty far. I'm gonna see if I can make it like over to my desk. Go! Oh, I didn't. Oh, it turned around and it kept going. Oh, geez. I wonder if that's something interesting. Here. Hmm. This is like infinite power supply right here. If I throw it with a little bit of a spin. Yeah! It like goes further. Oh no, and then it comes back. I know that a lot of you guys were dying for a science-y episode. Yizgat's one. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price. Gotta go take my picture, too.